Hello and welcome back to In Pursuit Of. I am continuing my conversation with Prasad Farke, founder of EcoBioTraps. And he is in pursuit of protecting citizens from dengue, malaria and mosquito-borne diseases. Welcome back, Prasad. Thank you, Aparna. So, Prasad, tell me, you are an engineer by profession, actually. And what is it that picked your interest in moving to this sector in a way the social enterprise and working on public health i used to work for this company called as nvidia we were a startup in those early 2000 i was very fortunate to work with jensen wong nvidia's founder and ceo and one of the things that he built nvidia on was that you know if you have a hard problem to solve that has never been solved before and you know you could solve it in a very different manner you know that's the problem that you pick pick up to go solve that's why he picked up the problem of artificial intelligence 30 years later nvidia you know owns artificial intelligence space if you will and when we looked at different problems to solve uh, then there was an incident that came i in and i didn't want to name the individual uh, but massive dengue outbreak and the family had to go through a turmoil and uh, you know very close to me and that's when i realized oh it's a problem you know can we go uh, figure a way to solve it first understand what the problem is and then see if we could solve it in a different manner being an entrepreneur is hard being a social entrepreneur is harder because you're working not just for profit but also for impact to make sure that it actually uh, works for the vulnerable communities so you've kind of made inroads into the market what kind of advice would you give to other social entrepreneurs i think uh, I'm too small to give any advice uh, in, in all reality, but let me kind of, you know, share with the audience and what, uh, you know, I learned again with this, uh, you know, great person, you know, Jensen Wang, right? He built NVIDIA and where NVIDIA today is. It took him 30 years to get there. Right? Jensen has been in pursuit of three things uh, that I want to communicate to fellow entrepreneurs is laser focus. Be resilient, right? Uh, and intellectual honesty, right? Be honest to yourself. You know, you got to take a say, no, why am I saying this to myself? Why am I not doing this to myself? This is not working. If it's not, accept it, change the course, change something and move ahead in life, right? I like the third one very much, that to actually be able to tell yourself and accept that yeah. it's not working. I think that's really tough. <laughs> We need the power of our youthful audience and their questions to take our mission of sharing journeys, experiences to everyone. Do write in to us with your questions for our guests. Today, Anita is with us to ask our guests some questions. Hello, sir. Hello. जो ये प्रोडक्ट है इसके अलावा भी आप कोई प्रोडक्ट निकालने का सोच रहे हैं? बहुत जल्दी हम इसका और एक नया वर्जन रिलीज करने वाले हैं, जिसमें सिर्फ साचे बदलना पड़ेगा, बस और कुछ नहीं. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Anita. In the last three years, five years, 2019, you started actually. What have been some pivotal moments in this journey for you? Actually, two things, okay. Uh, the first one was when I met this gentleman called as Dr. Altaf Lal, the former director of entomology for US Center for Disease Control. In India, back he was also the uh, health attache for South Asia in the US Embassy. And when I happened to meet him and he heard what we we're trying to do, he said, Prasad, this is all fine. But where do you have scientists backing you? You are an outsider. So he came forward and helped me set up a scientific advisory board. Then you had scientists validating and we were more precise in our scientific approach and putting a scientific framework because science is going to help us this war, right? So that was one aha moment. The second aha moment was actually in the product. And when first time we got an opportunity to get into Dharavi, um, and me and one of our scientists, Dr. Kosh, the former director of ICMR and IMR, um, me and him walked out of uh, Dharavi and the first thing that I said to him was, Dada, ye to hum start hone se pehle hi fail ho gaye. And the reason for that was earlier the product didn't have this net. 
Okay, and if you see what Dharavi is, it's in small bylanes, right? And here you are trying to solve a problem in Dharavi with this one that doesn't have a net, right? And we were supposed to just keep it anywhere and it's just going to work. It's, yeah, so I said to him, Bas, to failure. And then Dr. Goh said to me, Prasad, let's put a hanging mechanism. We gave the problem back to our factory and within 72 hours, we had a solution. Now, really, right you, you really learn from your audience or oh, from yeah. your customer. Oh, they teach right? you a lot. My all corporate experience has been that customers have taught me everything. Yeah, everything. You just have to be intellectually honest to take that you're working with two state governments and you know you're trying to work at a larger level with more governments i'm assuming to scale how uh, would you say is the best way to build inroads with the government because you know these things are hard it takes time and they also have to trust you right we are still not largely successful but our inroads is uh, you know have the conviction in front of them you know that you can really solve the problem and demonstrate it to them in a smaller scale, right? Like for example, I would build five of these out and I would say, Sir, ye try karke to dekho. You know, see what is there. Because till the time, you know, they don't experience anything that you are trying to build or the way you're going to solve the problem, you know, it uh, it just won't work. Luckily, these days, governments are pretty receptive. Bureaucrats are pretty, pretty receptive. You know, in, a, in our case, uh, particularly, a, uh, you know, there is an outstanding bureaucrat who just retired uh, from services. His name is Apurva Chandra. He was, uh, you know, secretary, uh, the defense secretary, INB. He retired as secretary health you know, just for six months. I wrote to the PMO. And, you know, he intervened and then, you know, within seven days, my problem was solved where I got a light on this. So, you know, don't fear right now with this government, don't shy away from writing to anybody. There are enough amount of people who will take notice. I was clueless as an entrepreneur, you know, whether so in our case, I was first of all, I was not sure whether this needs regulatory approval. If this needs regulatory approval, do I go to the agriculture ministry because we use the attractant and the agriculture and the insecticide in this? Or do we go to the health department because it is a dengue malaria stuff? How do I know? <laughs> right? True. And you go to these two individual departments, there was a beautiful match of, uh, you know, table tennis, not able to explain my problem to the right people and meet the right people. Okay, you know, let's go ring bells of the PMO and somebody paid attention and said, okay, we understand this now, we'll put you to the right people. And then I got the right prescription on what to do, what not to do. Okay, they won't help you navigate anything, right? But you'll get a direction and that's what is more important. So Prasad, tell me your previous corporate work. You've been an entrepreneur earlier and you're a social entrepreneur now. What's the difference? I'm stealing uh, words of uh, Sri Narayan Murthy. This is compassionate capitalism, right? When we build this out, we're very clear that, you know, 10% of our profits, we are going to give back. Because we really understand that it's not only capitalism, but it's, you know, in this case, it's compassionate capitalism. And for you to convince people on that, because people, you know, when we approach governments or anybody, people just think, oh, this is money minting machine, hai. you know, ye paisa bana hai and all of that. So you have to build that trust and credibility and all of that. Yeah, but the difference is capitalism versus compassionate capitalism. Wonderful. And now that reminds me of the question I wanted to ask you. You were on Shark Tank and you were looking for VC funding. So what happened? I, I watched it, but I still want to know from your, in your own words. Okay, so correction. Um, uh, we were there inside of the tank for 75 minutes. What you see on national television is 12, 15, 18 minutes max, anybody. We were, for, again, privileged enough and fortunate that we got aired 15 minutes, one minute of airtime on uh, that kind of a show on national television or with the likes of Sony uh, is a minute is one crore. Yeah. So for me, it was more to get 15 crores of free marketing that exploded our sales 10x. Wow. The Again, laser focus was to get limelight to get into heads of people. You know, today, in a week back, I was, uh, we were exhibiting at the Bangalore Summit, uh, Bangalore IT Summit. And when we had a stall, I had 
tons of people coming and say, hey, you were on the tank. You know, how was the pitch? You know, what did exactly happen? So people, so people resonate to you. And I'm like, well, you know, and the sales was one measure. You know, our sales shoot off the roof by 10x. We got so many different customers, different roadmaps, all of that. But our laser focus was that and not, uh, not raising money. However, just to be, uh, you know, you have to be polite and humble, right? <laughs> so to the sharks, you know, we just said, well, we had an offer A of, you know, valuating the company at 25 crore and, you know, Vinita wanted to do at 5 and 10. And, you know, we just said, well, last round we raised that 15 CR, so we can't go below that. And she said, well, I can't make it. So we had to refuse uh, the offer. But was that the goal? Now, you know, and my fellow advice to everybody who is aspirant to go on the tank is don't worry on the money uh, because more than the money, you know, the sharks help you a lot uh, with networking, stuff like that, if you can get on it. But more importantly, you know, stay focused on telling your story because that's your 12, 15 crore of airtime marketing free that you will never able to get till the time you are a 100 crore company. You know, you can't spend that kind of a money if you, to be 100 crore plus uh, if you have to get there. So leverage that. Focus on that. Very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Prasad, wonderful to talk to you. Likewise. And all the best. Thank and you. And I hope you manage to get eco bio traps everywhere yeah. across the country. Yeah. So I'm rooting for you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Apoya. Thank you. So thank you so much for watching. We'll be back soon with yet another guest. Do subscribe to our channel. <laughs> <laughs>